Mr. Luis Rene Martinez, good morning. Got a good morning. Good night. Hi, Mario. How are you? Amilcar, where have you been, my friend? Oh, wow. Long time without seeing you, sir. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. Are you okay? Cool. Yeah, tired because I, I have been marking and I I hate that. When when I read projects, yeah, it's the worst thing I can do. Why? I have, I, uh, it takes me a lot of time. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, I have about 25 students per group and I have to read all the projects and it takes uh, it a takes lot a of while. Time. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Hey, hey, Luis. Hey, I'm sorry. I said hello before, but I just realized that my that my microphone was off. No. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's Monday. It's Monday. Don't worry yeah, about that. Right. The body knows that it's Monday. <laughs> yes, you're right. And I'm so happy to have you, Luis, in your home right now, right? Yes, I'm home. And how was your weekend? Oof, was pretty exciting and a little bit relaxing, which what I needed the most, definitely. I spent time with my family. That's what I loved. Not with my friends, because I miss them a lot, right? But uh, I cannot right now at the moment. Okay. But at least with my family, which in this case is only my husband, <laughs> my pets, and my mommy. You are too busy for your friends or? Are, well, are due to that quarantine, you know, I, we cannot be seated. We cannot go out and take a cup of coffee, right? Yeah, we, right. we need to be very careful right now. So I had to wait until we're okay and we can go out and eat sushi. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, maybe uh, following the, the protocols and the security measures can be at least a little short. Yeah. Yeah, but I miss to hug them. <laughs> All right. Yeah, of course, because I, I'm one of the person that I, every time that I see you and you're my friend, I hug you. I hug you. I give you like a bird hug, like that. And a kiss, <laughs> of course. Right? Okay. It depends on our relationship, right? I have a really close friends. And because I have a different type of friends. Friends are really like uh, shy, the opposite of me as me. <laughs> so I know that I cannot, uh, I know that there's another way to say hi to them, right? But there's another friend that I treat them like, um, like a brothers and sisters. So I can be more like myself with them, like hug him and kiss him, like that. Even though it's boy or girls, I don't care. But I'm being like that. You know what, I have a friend who actually has been my friend for my entire life. I have, uh, I knew, well, I know him since I was in first grade of school. First grade, can you imagine? And we've been friends until now. That's amazing. But uh, every time that he sees me, he's already married, right? And so do I. But every time that he sees me, he's giving me a hug that will almost broke my ribs. Yeah, but we, we are that kind of friends and uh, my husband knows that and uh, his wife knows that. So that's okay. We, we are like brothers and sister basically, but we give a really big hug. And uh, last time I saw him because I had to give him something. And of course we followed the protocol, right? Because I gave him some information and he said, you know what, what? I wish I could hug you and I can't. You know, me neither. <laughs> and I was, it was really sad. It was really sad, but I cannot. I had to like, but you know what? As soon as I'm able to, to be honest with you, I'm preparing my muscles because I will give a lot of hugs, a lot of hugs and kisses to my friends. Me too. Actually, today after work, I went to the sky and make some working out exercises. Yes. Uh, really? You, you, went, you, uh, you went to do exercises? I wish I could, but to be honest with you, I was really mentally tired that I laid down a little bit. And my husband said, are you going to go out with me and uh, walk with the dogs? And I said like, 
Mm, no. I okay. want I want to rest. I see. And I would like to ask uh, what is the opposite adjective to shy? Shy. <laughs> okay, that's a really good question. Well, the same I, I am. <laughs> yes, for example, if I wanted to describe you, how, how would I say that? You I don't know. Use your imagination. Come on. <laughs> Amilcar, Marito, Alex, help him, please. He said that if he with wants to describe energy. me with a high energy, right? Ah, that might be, with yes. A, I kind of I, imperative. Is a word or what? An English word, imperative person? Imperative. Hyper, hyperative. Hyper. I'm a hyper girl. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Yes. Good one. Good one, Alex. Uh-huh. That's one, Luis. Hyper. Hyper. That means with a lot of energy. Yeah. Yes, I am. Hyperactive. Hyperactive. Exactly. Can you imagine? And I'm 30 something. Imagine when I was yeah. a girl. <laughs> Poor of my mama, right? Huh? Poor parents. Yes. Yeah. Well, you I know have what? I the same problem with my kids. My, uh, yeah. my son is like that, you know, a lot of energy. That's why we go to play basketball every day because he needs it. You know what? I think that's my that's why my mama, when I was on the, during the school, between first and sixth grade, uh, we took like swimming classes after classes. Uh, I think it was every day. Uh, I, where is it? The uh, Magico Gonzalez Stadium now. That is the name of the stadium right now. And um, because, uh, of course, swimming classes uh, take, involves all your entire body, right? And of course, it demands a lot of energy, even though you're swimming, but woof, you lost a lot of calories. So after we finish, I remember that there was a, a man who was selling like a hot dogs. Like the El Paso hot dogs, remember? But when they were like a different kind of uh, hot dogs, I do not remember the name exactly. But my mama knew it that we must eat uh, that hot dogs after we finish classes because as soon as we arrive back home, guess what? We fall asleep and do not wake up until the next day because it was really, really like um, a, a tough exercise. And I was, let me check. I was six from six years old until until 12 years old swimming. So that was a lot. It's the best exercise for you to burn calories. Yes, and I love it. But the problem is right now that we cannot do it, Marito, because of the quarantine. There is it is not opened. I wish I could. Because it's a, it's not it's it's relaxing as well. It's really relaxed. Yes, but the, the worst thing that after doing some swimming classes, I want to eat something. <laughs> yeah, like a banana or something like that, right? Because I'm not going to earn those calories back. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, that, that's nice. You see, we're talking about exercises. Yeah. Hey, and by the way, we are here. We have here some extra uh, people here. We do have Paquito. Welcome back to the jungle, Paquito. <laughs> Sergio, yeah. Good evening. Good evening, sir. We do have Mr. Hernandez. Hi. Uh, hey, good, evening. Do, good evening. We do have Mr. Kevin here, Sergio, and Carito. Finally, another girl. Finally. Yeah, I was expecting like I'm going to be the only no. girl. And, oh, my goodness. No way. Hi, Sergio. Now we have classes. Okay? Hello, Miss. Hello. <laughs> good evening. Okay. Yeah, very good, good guys. How are you doing? Oh, pretty good. We're Welcome. talking about things that we like and also about the sports things, right? Hey, tell me something, guys. Um, I want to talk about something really important and it's about careers. Careers. Each of you has a specific career, right? Some of you are teachers, like Marito and Canela, or no, Kalena. Sorry, no Canela. Kalena. Ah, thanks God she's not here. 
<laughs> All right, Kalena, right? Uh, but some of you are like, um, I don't know, like engineers maybe, right? Or some of you are students. What about you, Amilcar? I think you're still studying, right? No, I wasn't <gasps> studying an, an engineer. Oh, engineer, okay. Yes, I only did one year, but what later happened? my grandmother got sick <gasps> and I was to take care about her. Mm -hmm. So you had to yeah. like stop for a while. Yeah, I was thinking to continue the career, but mm -hmm. my father told me that I have to wait because um, he is um, preparing my residence to USA. Mm -hmm. And so I'm waiting and maybe the next year I am going to go to live with him ah. or with my mother. <laughs> uh, but are they both in the US? Yeah, my father is living in Missouri and my mom in New York. Oops. Well, if you love yeah. cold weather, go to New York. <laughs> I would have to choose. <laughs> oh, that's a really, really cold weather right now. Yeah, I, I know. Not imagine. Yes. Yeah, no. she was telling me that. No, you do not know a milker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so prepare for that. Yeah, and the lifestyle is different, of course. Oh, well, oh, I think your milker had a phone call, right? <laughs> okay, so we gotta wait. Okay, uh, what about you, Alex? What is exactly your um, profession? Um, I was studying uh, computer system administration okay. and, and computer systems. Like uh, an IT? A, yeah, it was a half of administration and, and, and computers. And for, computer, okay. Yeah, but I, I haven't finished. You haven't finished, but you're yeah. still on that. Okay. Yeah. And are you but, planning to finish it? Uh, yeah, well, I'm planning to, to change, you know. Cool, of course, of yeah. course. I know, I know today's right now is a little bit hard because of your responsibilities as a daddy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's different when you're single, mm -hmm. like Mr. Hernandez, like yeah. that, when you have already <laughs> responsibilities like Alex. But mm -hmm. you can do it, Mr. You can do it, my man. Yeah. Really With an extra good. effort, you can do it. Yeah. So you so, see, he's playing like an IT, maybe, right? Like an IT? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. Uh -huh. Listen carefully, yeah, guys. I'm, I'm trying to. Uh, to what? Um, international, another. Another career? You know, um, yeah, kind of related to. To what? Yeah, international. Administrator? Um, no? What's the name uh, of that no, career? I, I, I forgot. You forgot? Okay, don't worry. You will, you will remember later on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. But uh, the list says that you like um, marketing or teaching or, I don't know, languages, maybe? Yeah, languages. Yeah. Oh, that's inter interesting. Very good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Listen carefully what we're talking, okay, guys? I'm, le I'm letting you know for some reason. <laughs> Mr. Mm -hmm. Luis René, what about you, sir? You are a person who loves to... Um, learn languages is right is it right am i yes. correct okay yes and i work in the design department of mm. a company dedicated to the production of windows and Ooh. doors yes That's i'm an cool. architect and yes i graduated uh, uh, on in the year 2019 2019 that was like three years ago i think Yes. Or two? No, 2019. Yes. Oh, yeah, right. Well, in 2021, right? <laughs> I thought we were in 2022. My goodness. <laughs> you see, I'm not good with math. <laughs> well, I think I'll have a little bit, a lot of numbers right now that I'm, my mind is like over the top. <laughs> yes, you're right. It was uh, two years ago. Two years ago? Okay. Yes. That's cool. What about you, Esther uh, Hernandez? You still, you're still studying, right? Yeah, in my what is computer, your career? Uh, accounting. Accounting, okay. Yeah, that's my, I'm in my second year of Ooh. accounting. Oh my god, and they are five years, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. long. No, no, come on, that three years pass really fast. You cannot imagine. I hope that. <laughs> yeah, but of course, if you have like, uh, because each model of the cycle has like a between four or five subjects per model. So I don't know with how many you are per semester. The thing is that I have to, to get a good grade. 
and yes definitely and how and take the five subjects uh, five subjects oh, okay five subjects. yeah because also i'm um, i got a scholarship so i have to oh yes sir. you must study like like yeah. hard okay <laughs> yeah but don't worry you will do it you're a smart guy uh, thank you very good. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. What about you, Merito? You are a um, teacher, but also you said that you have a different kind of career, right? Yes, well, I study in Universidad Sudamericana. UCA. Uh -huh. Business, business administrator, administration uh -huh. uh, with emphasis in marketing. Marketing. Oh uh -huh. my that was That was in the 90s. The yeah, 90s? Uh, I Just work right. on that for yeah yeah I work on that for some years, but then I started working in a school and mm -hmm. they gave me the chance to teach mathematics, and and the idea came out to me and I studied um, what is one year of professional pedagogy, uh -huh. for teachers mm -hmm. at Universidad Nacional. Okay, Na the National, National University. University. Yeah. Yep. And after that, I studied something that I wanted to do a master's degree in theology uh, in 2007. That was the last one. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you have three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I work as a math teacher. <laughs> yeah. Is, is, is the one that you joined the most, right? Yes. I know. Okay. It. <laughs> you love it. All right. Very good. Okay. Hey, guys, listen carefully. Okay. Because we're talking about this for a reason it's not to wasting time okay well of course just to ask you to speak because you need to practice your conversation of course hey, paquito what about you well i just have studied on the high school high school I okay to, yes i i try to study an engineer a mm -hmm. career mm -hmm. but i have to quit Yes, I, I study only about six months. I mean, okay. the, one, the first module, I don't know how, how do you call it in, in English. Yeah, model. So, uh, yeah, yeah, the, just the first model. And then I, I quit, so uh, I wasn't able to continue. Well, honestly, I didn't like to spend too much time uh, in a university. I prefer better to start working in start to get my my own money your own so business way, that's my yeah my yeah my own business because i i come from uh a business uh family i mean oh, okay you know uh, not a not a big uh entrepreneurs but a small ones you know okay like got it yeah everyone like everyone does here in, in the country you know with a small business mm-hmm Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Um, yeah. So you're so like, you're like a businessman. The shuttle service. Uh huh. Uh, kind of businessman. Yeah. yeah. By the time I'm doing shuttle service, mm -hmm. and also I have a part time job with a company in the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, I I'm I'm doing uh, customer service, and also at the same time I'm doing uh sales oh I'm, very good I'm working as a salesperson yeah so I'm, I'm in the industry of the secondhand goods yeah so that means it is like a call center what you do you do work like a call center well by the time i'm doing like a call center but it's not really a call center mm -hmm. because i don't do much work i just when some client has a is an issue mm -hmm. about quality or, mm -hmm. or about on a mistake in an invoice mm -hmm. or maybe sometimes they are claiming about prices okay. that was not a was not agreed mm -hmm. so i have to follow because uh the customers in the saddle don't speak english uh -huh. and the boss don't speak spanish so i <laughs> I'm, I'm okay doing like interpreting kind of, uh, interpreter interpreting yeah Mm -hmm, but I do uh, sales also. Uh, oh, so you are uh, like I, a back I, I office. Well, let's say that. Yeah. 
Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so. So you're practicing your doing. English. That's great. Yeah. Change and you're learning new, yeah, new vocabulary, which is cool. I believe yeah, that English is more I, important I than careers now. Yeah. Definitely. That's cool. Thank you, Paquito. That's interesting what you do, actually. Uh huh. Let me. Uh, uh, and, yeah. I, and I really enjoy what I do. You, you see, you're enjoying. You're enjoying what you do. Also, being being like a back at <laughs> office, like being a teacher, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Very and, good. And, and yes. Besides, mm -hmm. yeah. And besides, sometimes I I do I work as a tour guy. I'm not really a tour guy, but I. I know a little bit of uh, our country, different no. things. So I do sometimes, yeah, I do sometimes like a uh, tour guy, you know, driver and, and tour guy. Oh so, my yeah, God. It's very, it's because very exciting. It's because like in El Salvador, we said you are part of the chucho, right? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So you're also a tourist guy. You are you, you you must put like a travel agent, you know, travel agent company. Yeah, Sergio, uh, what happened? Oh, okay, okay. Sergio said that he will sometimes he will have trouble with the um, with the internet, he said. So he might not answer some questions. So that's okay. No problem, Sergio. We understand that. Okay. Okay, so you know what, Paquito, you're multitasking. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. yeah definitely but it's really nice you know that's great interesting paquito yeah, does a lot I of really things enjoy. yeah yeah i can i can no, imagine that you enjoyed it especially when you had to be like a tour guy right <laughs> yeah that's very uh, exciting yes you, you know what you, you... i had to work i had to go to el espino uh, yeah yeah ocean and beach right of course Which, well it's part of my job <laughs> Yeah, one of the best uh, beaches in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. One of the most I love. El Espino and Re also I love. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah, El Hawaii in La Union. That's one of the, my favorite places. Yeah, of course, they're really beautiful, but the La Union is really hot nowadays. Like, oof. Oh, yes, yeah, and the milkers say really yes, hot. it's really hot. Yeah, but when the when the breeze starts to blow, uh, yes. then it's nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're right about that. Especially with a cocktail, right? Oh my goodness, I can't. I'm starting to imagine that. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Thank you, Paquito. Oh. Well, let's listen. Irina. Irina, what about you, girl? What is exactly what you do? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Well, uh, I work as an uh, administrator. Okay. Uh, administrative coordinator. Oh, so and, you have an administrative coordinator. Okay. Yes. And, and my tasks are, uh, I'm in charge of the all administrative activities at the office. Okay. And besides, I have I am in charge of the licitation and contracts. Okay. And um, I do uh, a lot of tasks. Or, uh, and I help to the commercial area, to the uh, technical support, and to the, um, let me see how it's called. I don't know. To the, uh, uh, how it's called, gerencias. Okay, so how you call that, guys? Management. 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 Yeah, Management. very good. Yes. Mm. I knew it. Those are my boys. <laughs> Yes, thanks, thanks, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We help each other. Oh my God! So you need to be like in communication, in contact with different type of uh, a person, a different type of departments, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And, and being like a, a administrative coordinator, do you like it? Yes, I yeah. really like. It. I really like my job. Sometimes it's kind of um, stressful. Yes. Yes, but uh, I like it. I really like it. That, that's what it is. It's really important, right? That you like what you do. Yes. Of course, definitely. Let's listen. Thank you, Irina. Let's listen to Carolina. Oh. Hey, Carito, what about you, girl? Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm not work. I'm not studying at mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. I start the 
introduction of a communication career ah. but for or because economy problems in my family mm -hmm. i can't continue mm -hmm. so i start working and i work in a call center for three years mm -hmm. and now i am working in the administrative section of a college in a academic register Great. so i have like three months of being working there but um before I, I worked there in the same place for two years. Oh, that's nice. Yes. So you're calling it the academic section. Uh -huh. exactly. And do you like what you do? Being an yes, academic I like sport? It. Okay. I like it. Sometimes it's, it's, it's kind of busy, but yeah. But I like it. I can imagine. So you see, that's really good, guys. Thank you so much for sharing your, your life, your careers, what you like. So being a student, being a teacher, being an IT, being a businessman, being in a language communication, being like a administrative coordinator, exactly. Okay, very good. And you say, teacher, what we are talking about that, right? No idea, right? <laughs> No idea. It's because, of course, guys, you know that I, I love to teach you grammar, right? But um, I love to teach you grammar in a really fun way. And as well that you're able to see that grammar is not like, uh, like the same thing all over again. No, I want you guys to double check how important it is in your life, but uh, how practical it is as well. All right. So this is the, the um this is the introduction. <clears throat> so don't worry, I will teach you that. Okay, all your horses, guys. But let me ask you something before we continue. Uh, do you think that the um, our specialties, our professions, or what we're studying at the university, it could be related to our personality? What do you think? Yeah. Sometimes yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes Guy. yes, but in uh -huh. another uh, in another times, um, we study we work uh, something different that we we will no we were studied. Before. Uh huh. Yes, like Marito, for example. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> or yes. Kalina, right, as well. Yes, yeah. and but the, the importance it sometimes um, I think are the circumstances. Mm -hmm. But uh, sometimes you study something and you work uh, or you learn in during the life or during your life or during the the you get an experience mm -hmm. that is different and you were learning something different. Exactly. But you think what you're learning or what you are uh, interested in also is related to your personality. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, you're right about what you said, Arena. Hey, today, guys, we are going to, I will, um, this is the introduction, but I will share with you a video that basically is like an interview. It's like an interview uh, uh, with a student, a communication student, and an interview to something or someone from the academic department, Carito, and is the one in charge of guiding the new students about which career it might be appropriated to him or to her according to the personalities. And basically, guys, we are going to, in that interview, you will be able to see six types of personalities, okay? And what I want you to do, guys, is just <laughs> try to uh, get to know this type of personalities, the, the academic type of personalities. And also, if you could identify, guys, with yourself, what type of personality you have. Which one of the six? Or maybe you have a mix. I don't know. That might be a possibility, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's what I want you to do, guys. Try to focus on the explanation, but also try to identify in which of the six personalities you are, okay? And then we're going to continue. Okay, Luisito? All right. 
Luisito. Okay. I thought of Houston, we didn't have a problem. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let me just a couple of minutes. Let me double check really quickly. And we will continue. Okay. Don't worry. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There you go. There you go. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, let me just one moment. Let me share right now my screen and then I will go with you. There you go. Okay, I have it. I just want to know if you are, if you can listen. Okay, that's all that I need. I think so you can listen. To can you listen, guys? Yes. Yeah, cool. Welcome to Matheson College. I'm Jamie Fish. Some students arrive on campus with clear career ambitions, but most students need some help figuring out which field of study is right for them. The good news is, help is available. I'm here with Jacqueline Auden, a career advisor from the Career Services Department here on campus. Ms. Auden, you've advised a lot of students over the years about choosing a major and a career path. What should students consider? Well, Jamie, one of the first things to consider is your personality type. Well, along with your skills, abilities, and personal preferences, your personality type can guide you toward finding a major that best suits you. Okay. So how many personality types are there? Well, there are six basic personality types. Hmm. Artistic, conventional, enterprising, investigative, realistic, and social. Now, the first type is artistic. These people are creative and imaginative, and they prefer to work on one project at a time rather than multitasking. What careers should artistic types pursue? The most important thing for this type of people is being in charge of a creative project. So careers to consider are landscaping, graphic design, web design. I see. The next personality type is conventional. Tell us about that one. Yes, conventional types are practical and orderly. They respond well to rules, procedures, schedules, things like that. Hmm. What types of careers do conventional type people usually enjoy? Conventional types often enjoy numbers, and they're also good with measuring and analyzing things in general. So often they tend to be bankers, lawyers, building inspectors, and technical writers. Are they good business people? Sure, they can be. But they usually work for others. The next type, enterprising people, those are the business owners. Ah, the enterprising type. What characteristics do those people share? They tend to be leaders. They're independent and willing to take risks. They're good at motivating people, so we often find them in sales. Really? What careers do they enjoy, aside from sales? Well, they're good at directing projects and people, so they make good managers. Okay, so that's three types. Let's take a look at the fourth type, investigative. Well, this type of person prefers logic to imagination and tends to be precise and detailed. So, Jamie, what are some careers that you think would suit this type of person? Hmm. Science would probably be appealing. You're right. Uncovering mysteries is key to any type of science, but librarians are also the investigative type. Really, any career that involves research fits into this category. Hmm. So that brings us up to the fifth type, realistic. Yes, realistic types like to work with their hands, with tools. They want to see the results of their work in physical terms. Hmm. That sounds like repair people to me. Yes, that's right. Also jewelry makers, builders, and engineers. So now for the sixth personality type, which is the one that describes me best. Yes, I think you're right. The last type is social. Social types like people. Their jobs usually involve helping and communicating with others. Oh, but teaching would appeal to social types. Oh, yes. Medicine, coaching, broadcast journalism, and, of course, career advising. 
That's us, social types. Ms. Alden, thank you for sharing this information with us. It was my pleasure, Jamie. Well, we hope this information has been helpful to you. If you'd like to learn more, visit the Career Services Department and tell them Jamie sent you. All right. So what do you think, guys? What do you think? Okay, don't, uh, let me ask you, do, uh, do you like it? Was it interesting video? Yeah. Well, yes. it's re I really, think, really, yes. really interesting, mm -hmm. right? Hey, yeah. have you already know about this type of uh, personalities? No idea. Mm -hmm. No, you see, that's a new uh, thing for you. So, guys, uh, talking about what we already have been explaining about different careers that we already uh, went through or are still taking, like, for example, Mr. Hernandez, but also that uh, now we are, like, uh, working on something completely different, right, from our career. But tell me something. What type of personality do you think you, think you have? Amilcar, you have one personality, or maybe you have a mix of one or two or three? Um, well, <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I like to be a little bit artist, okay. but I'm, I'm conventional. You're conventional. Yeah. I, need I like to, be honest, to conventional. work with, with numbers sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I am really realistic. All right, very yeah. good. So you see, that's good. Yeah. Hey, now you know the, the how uh, well exactly the description of each of them, right? Yeah, it's good, excellent. Yeah, because uh -huh. I am, I think that I'm realistic because I am preparing all the time. Ah, and okay. Sometimes I like to be perfect, and I like to do a good job. And of course, you start uh, studying engineer, right? Yeah, and and she's I I remember that she explained that engineers are the people who likes to uh, see physically that you can touch right physically uh, that result for your work right and that's exactly what engineers does. Okay, very good. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, what about you, Marito? I think I'm I'm a blend of uh, social and. Uh, what was the other that he said? Sociable, um, which one? Uh, conventional? Conven convention, conventional? Conventional. All right. Yeah, that's a mix, a mix of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I, 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 I like to work with other people. Uh, that's what you're teaching. I, uh -huh. I work as a coach mm -hmm. because we, we have a mad a mat team that mm -hmm. competes around the uh, Central America. Oh, that's great. Uh -huh. And let me see what else. And I like numbers. Oh. I love numbers. Oh, that's why. Yeah. So you are you have the two personalities. That and there's a contrast, right? <laughs> yeah. But that's cool. That's great. What about you, Alex? What you have? What do you think you are? What type of personality? Yeah, kind of conventional. Also like um with a and with numbers, some numbers and social, I think. Sociable? Mm. Sociable, yeah. That's cool. Like, like Marito, okay. Yeah, but you know, no. Um, I like to I like to be like um kind of, I work like a salesman or or uh -huh. or like as, Paquito, uh huh. Yeah, or as, as like a sheer, you know. Oh, when, okay. When I, like, so, so which type hard. of personality you think you have besides conventional and societal? It could be something else. Mm, I don't no, know. I think, I, no, I think it's only two. Yeah, there's two. Okay. So come. So you see, guys, right now, so far, each of you, there is one type of personality in common. Well, no, two types: conventional and sociable. Right. Very good. Okay, let's listen to Paquito. Paquito, what about you? Are you agree with Alex? Do you think you have the same type of personality or I what? Yes, I agree with everyone. I think we uh, share at least one of the personalities. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, in my opinion, uh, I think I, I am conventional in kind of business, mm -hmm. business uh, person. So yeah, but at, at the same time, I, I feel I am sociable, sociable with uh, people. So I think that 
I could do also sociable because I like to share and to discuss with partners or co-workers. So I think uh, I can fit in those three uh, types of personalities. Wow, so you have three. Also, Amilcar, Amilcar, you have three. Right now, Marito and Alex have two. Okay, very good. Let's thank you, Paquito. Let's listen to Mr. Hernandez. What about yeah. you, sir? What do you think? And the right got also three. Now. Three? Okay. Yeah, conventional because for I love numbers. Of course, I you're like an analyze, analyze, Yeah, analyze. How do you say datos? Data. Data, ah, yeah, data. And realistic because I really like to work especially in the construction area mm -hmm. when i was like 12 ah, not too I long used ago to, <laughs> i used to help i used to help my dad to build some walls or things like that ah, okay and social because i really like to work with others yeah i can imagine yeah. i remember that you you said that you are uh you take time to help uh john people right with their School, especially school kids things. especially kids yeah. okay kids. so you see uh, with math I, I, right I, yeah <laughs> with which uh, i don't know which with all the subjects all the subjects yeah okay but i'm not i'm really been unhappy for what what she said about the uh, conventional mm -hmm. that she said that the personal the person who was conventional they used to work for others mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I'm thinking about that, so I'm already unhappy about that. But well, that is one point of view, you see. Yeah, that's that. But so you are three. You said realistic, sociable, and conventional. Conventional, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so you see, you also I think also like a milker and paquito. What about you, Luisito? Thank you, Jonah. What about you? Uh, I have the creative personality because uh, I noticed that I, I like to draw. Mm -hmm. I like music. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, and as well, then the, the, the thing about investigate and research. <laughs> I forgot the name of that personality. Hey, what is in that personality? The one that says investigative and research. Investigative. Yeah. Investigative. Investigative. Yeah. yeah. No. And then it was uh, realistic. I, realistic. I'm realistic as well because uh, I I also love uh, mathematics and science. So you have three. Wow. What about sociable? No sociable. Uh, a little bit sociable. A little bit sociable. Oh my goodness, this guy has four of six. Woof. Wow. Well, three and a half, we can say, right? Okay, that's cool. That's okay. awesome. Let's say three and a half, yeah. Uh, oh, 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 that's cool, Luisito. Okay, now let's listen to one girl. Uh, Carito, what about you, my girl? What do you think? What type of personality you might have? The first personality I think I have is artistic mm -hmm. because I consider myself as a very creative person. Oh, that's cool. Also enterprising mm -hmm. uh, for the part that I love to motivate others. Yes. And sociable. Sociable. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because you work in, a, in an academic area, right? So you need to yeah, hang correct. out with people, right? Of course, definitely. That's cool. All right, let's listen to Irina. What about you, my girl? What do you think? Well, I think that I have a mix too. <laughs> but don't tell me five. <laughs> <laughs> Almost the six teacher. No. Really? No I'm kidding. Oh my God, that's cool. Yeah, of course, no, why not? I think that I am uh, enterprising, mm -hmm. sociable, a little bit realistic sometimes i had to be realistic mm -hmm. and art artistic uh -huh. why because, artistic uh -huh. because um in my free time mm -hmm. i work with flowers oh that's really interesting flowers you mean natural flowers or artificial yes, ones natural flowers and uh -huh. i have a friend i have a, a friend that uh -huh. is my 
collab too. Uh -huh. And we, um, how can I say, we are um, like an event, event planners. Even? Oh, okay, okay, that's good. Yes, event so planners. So you're you you're in charge of the decoration of, of the event. Yes, decoration of of um the most are the weddings. Oh yeah. Oh, that's that's really interesting. Yes, and in that part, I have to be artist. Of course, before. definitely, because you'd like to visualize, right? It's yes. going to be this, or depends on what type of flower they're asking you, what colors, etc. Oh, that's cool. Yes. And at my office, uh, we sometimes have, um, before the pandemic, mm -hmm. we made a um, business event, mm -hmm. and we have to make some kind of uh, souvenirs for our our customers. Okay, yeah. And I created too. I have to create something different to to impress the people. Oh, that's amazing. But you created like physically or just created like in the designing? Like, uh, no, I, I made. You made it. Oh, yes. that's interesting. Yes. Wow. And of course you are, had to be sociable, right? Yes. Yes. Because I have to, um, I have to stay uh, with, with the people to, mm -hmm. um, to receive, to mm -hmm. receive at the event and to, be in charge of the cocktail and to mm -hmm. talk with them and something. What about investigative? Uh, sometimes I had to be too because... Um, you see? I told yeah. you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. For example, I don't know if it's investigative because uh, I have to um, learn all the contracts and if I have some doubts about it, I have to choose to, to go to the to the Google, to look for the other people, to the legal people, mm -hmm. to investigate what the what are the things are the correct to do in that in those cases. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are investigating. Oh my goodness, you almost have the six. <laughs> oh <laughs> my goodness, a little bit, a little, a little bit. bit. But I think you have the strongest part, like um, enterprising. Enterprising also was uh, creative and sociable, uh -huh. right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Excellent. All righty. What? A, thank you, Irina. What thank about you, Sergio? Are you able to to answer right now? Is it okay? Your internet? So far, so good. Or oh, I think you still have problems with the internet. Maybe, right? Okay. Let's listen, Mr. Kirvin. Mr. Kirvin, what about you? Okay. Um, I'm not. I'm not pretty sure, but uh, it could be. Real, um, realistic, realistic, um, okay. realistic, conventional, and enterprising. enterprising. Because I like number enterprising, right? Yeah, because I like numbers. Uh, I consider myself a good, a good leader. Okay. 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 So don't take it like uh, no humble, right? Uh -huh. so yes, that, of course. This is, my, <laughs> this is my this is my point of view, right? So uh, in and of course uh, I'm study engineer. So oh, okay. that I consider them they're realistic, right? Of course, yeah, that's cool. So you see, guys, there are some personalities that you have in common. All righty. What about in the last one I want to hear? Thank you, Irving. What about you, Kike? Kike, what about you? Kike. Kikito. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hi, sir. What type of personality do you think you have? I think uh... I think that social. Sociable? Yes. Only that? I think so. Why? Why do you think so? Uh, because I like work with other person. Mm -hmm. uh, only that. Only that. No, that's it. Yeah. Uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay, guys, so it's really interesting, right? Now you know. Okay, there are a lot of personality types in common. Here you have a lot of common. Have you noticed that? No. And you, yeah, yeah, you have a, a lot of in common, even though you work in a different areas. Some of you are engineers, some of you are sales, some of you uh, are teachers like me, right? Some of you are in academic areas, some of you are in like, um, I don't know, in a call center environment. Yeah, so that's really good, interesting. 
Yeah. Hey, so now that we're already talking about that, we still have a good few minutes. And uh, why we are knowing all this vocabulary and all this knowledge, and we have talked a lot about our professions and what type of things that we like to do, etc. Because, guys, when we, when we like or we want to express things about jobs, about careers, especially uh, talking about jobs and if we are agree or disagree with a career debate, uh, we most of the time use what we call gerund phrases. Gerund phrases. You know what gerund is? What is a gerund, by the way? ING. Exactly, ing gerund phrases. Most of the time, it is like when you're talking about something that you're doing, right? But in this case, gerund phrases, we can use them to talk about careers and to talk about jobs or professions that you like or basically what you do. And also, guys, gerund phrases, we can do it in a two ways. We can use it like a subject once, but also we can use it as an object once. For example, you can say, being a teacher is the most gratifying job that I can have. I can say that. Being, you see? Being, I-N-G. Okay. Or, or somebody else might said this, um, like, I think, Luis, designing. Designing what? Designing a house, right? It, could, it is the most interesting, or you can say, it, um, it is... Um, it is a man's job, for example. For example. But also, there's another one that could say, um, well, in this case, the one, the person who loves animals, for example, they might say, working as a veterinarian could be rewarding, right? So basically, in that way, we can talk about professions and also we can use gerund to talk about profession, but in general, right? You can say, being a doctor, it is the most demanding, demanding job, for example, nowadays, we can say that. In that way, we are using gerunds as a subjects. Okay, let me show it to you right now. And I'm gonna share right now with you some script, okay? Some grammar thing, okay? So you can have like an idea, what am I talking about? Because maybe you are like, what is she talking about, right? Maybe you're in the moon. I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All righty. Very good. Let me ask you. Let me share with you something. And hopefully everybody's in the WhatsApp. Hopefully. And if not, you should be. I think Paquito, you already are there, right, Paquito? You already are in the WhatsApp group. Okay, let me check it out. Yes, I am. I am yes, of there. course. All righty. There you go. So let me just a couple of minutes. Da, 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 da. There you go. This one, this one. I want to, okay, I have a lot of people here that I've been talking to this day. So I have to figure it out which one it is. Okay, cool. All righty. I'm not supposed to take a picture of me. <laughs> All right. Tell me as long as you're able to see it. There you go. Wait a minute. Did you receive it already? Yep. Yes. Of course. Very good. So, guys, what I want you to do, okay, let me share right now my screen. Um, and there you go. <clears throat> okay, let me put it a little bit bigger. Okay, what I want you to do right now is to focus on this part, on the one that says gerund phrases of subjects. Basically, guys, this is also just what you need to do is like how you how you can do it. You know that, right? You see the, the gerund phrases of subjects. Basically, guys, what we are going to do is that we are going to start our phrase when we're talking about a specific profession. Like in this case, uh, the first one, you see flight attendant. You know what flight attendant is? What's that? What's a flight attendant, guys? The personnel who, mm -hmm. who works at the airplanes. Exactly. Very, very good. Exactly, Irina. So when you're talking about a specific um, profession in general, you would need to start, if you can see that, guys, by the birth. In this case, the birth is birth to be, right? But I'm using it as a gerund, so we need to like put it in the ing form. 
And we said, being a flight attendant sounds exciting. That means that you're talking about that profession in general. Also, Irene, for example, you can say being an administrative coordinator, it's, a, it's an interesting uh, job, but at the same time, you can say it's exhausted. Is that right? Or no? Irina? Irina. Some, sometimes it's a social. Sometimes, but, huh? Mm -hmm. But um, it's not, uh, how can I say it? It's not bad for me. It's I not bad. It relatable, yes. Exactly. So basically, if you would like to talk about your profession, you can do it in a many different ways. You can say it being a, and you mentioned, for example, the, the profession, in this case, a flight attendant. You can also say being a administrative coordinator or like Marito, right? Being a teacher or a math teacher and you continue with your explanation. Or also like Paquito, being a sales agent and he continue with what he would like to explain. But also guys, you can also use general phrases as subjects uh, when you're talking about not exactly the profession, but also what you do in a profession. And take a look at the second um, example. Designing clothes is not a man's job. Mm -hmm. Can somebody give me an example like the second one with any type of um, things that you do? Volunteer, volunteer. Learning languages uh -huh. is something that I like the most. Very good, excellent, you see, excellent. All right, what about the, sec the third one? Working as veterinarian, okay. This is one, this, is, this one is exactly, it's most likely the, the first one, right guys? Working, being a flight attendant, working as a veterinarian. All right, this is more like comparative. And also directing a TV show. This is exactly more like the second one, this one, you see? This one are kind of similar. But what I want you to understand is that in this case, the gerunds, this ones, we are using as a subjects. And that's why guys, we put them at the beginning of the sentence. Have you noticed that? Yeah? Is it easy peasy queasy? Come on. It's okay. Yeah, it's, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. it's part of the process. Come on. It's a piece of cake. <laughs> it's a piece of cake. Okay, so it's a piece of cake at one example. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, why I open my mouth? Yeah. Okay, no, don't worry. I will let you think, but yeah. I'm going to ask Luisito. Okay, Luisito, give me an yeah. example of Jerome as a subject. You can use anything. You can use your career or something else. Mm -hmm. Working as a teacher is very rewarding. Yeah, it is actually. Especially when I can see my babies that they're growing in their English knowledge. I'm so happy. Especially you. You are my babies. Even though you're older than me. <laughs> or younger than me. <laughs> but you are my English babies. Yes, very good. Great example, Luisito. Okay, now can I have another example, Paquito? I was so like, <laughs> he okay, was thinking about I that. Can... Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I was reading to the uh, to the chart. Okay. But let me think about... I, I just want Gerunds as a subject. A... Mm -hmm. uh, being a tour guide is, is very exciting. Yeah, definitely. I'm agree with you. Very good. Excellent. Alex, what about you? I don't know. I'm thinking. Oh, my goodness. That's why it <laughs> smells like something is burning here. <laughs> okay, I will give you a chance. Okay, I will give you a chance. Hernandez, now is your turn. You already have a chance. <laughs> Come on. I have that. Being an, an Aries is one of the most exciting things. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Amilcar, what about you? Um, learning English is a big process. Very good. That's really good. Eh? 
Excellent job. And it is. I'm agree with you. Very good. Marito, what about you? Marito. I think Houston, we have a problem here, right? Marito, where are you? Did he stand up? Maybe to get a glass of water? That could be, right? No. Let's leave, let's give him a chance. Uh, Carito, what about you? Um, being a taxi driver is an exhausting job. Yes, definitely it is. Nowadays, imagine with the traffic of San Salvador. Oof, no way. All righty. <laughs> Kirby, what about you? Um... Do something else like being. Do so, use another word, another verb. Okay. Uh, Working study, with people like that, I don't know. Okay, studying study, study at night is something uh, so tired. Yes, definitely it is. Yes. But if you have a, a jar of cup of coffee, that's amazing. And of course, like 10 sandwiches. Good advice. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah, right. Of course. I love that. <laughs> yeah, that's you know what? That's what my mama used to do. When all my classmates uh, arise home, she prepared like um like a liter of of a Coca-Cola or or a coffee. Coca and then she, the yeah, yeah, and the, and then she made like the um, 10 or I don't know, more than 10 sandwiches. Depends on how many uh, classmates we have. Very right? healthy, right? Very yeah, healthy. very healthy, of course, because we have to study until really late night. Yeah, I like I like coffee. I like drink coffee a lot, but I have problem with my stomach. So oh, this is a problem, right? But yes, just a little a little cup. Well, it's not a problem. But more than ten cups, yes, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> like uh, ghost people say, and like. Uh, once, once in a year, it's not a problem. Okay. In English, not so good. In English, not so good, right? But <laughs> no, that's cool. That, I got it. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right about that. Thank you, Kervin. What about you, Irina? Oh, you already participate, right? No. No. Okay. No. <laughs> um, making flowers arrangements is very amazing for me. Yay! That's awesome example. <laughs> very good job. Like, Alex, now is your turn, my man. Okay, I think I have one. Okay, only one. Uh, <laughs> uh, building house or, or, yeah, building house is, is the architect's uh, Dream building house <laughs> is the architect's uh, job. No? Mm -hmm. Very building building a house or building some houses. Very good, excellent. Very good, very good, Alex. Let's listen to, I don't know, Marito. Marito, have you arrived already or no? Marito, where have you been, my friend? I had a phone call. I'm sorry, that's ah, okay. important. That's why, that's why. Just send me a, a text message. So like, where is him? Okay, so do <laughs> me a favor. And any example about what we're seeing? Hey, yeah, I, I, I think I, he's I, on the moon right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I was listening the last, the last. Ah, the last okay, ones, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. We're we're learning about gerunds as uh, subjects right now that we can use them to talk about uh, activities that a person does, for example, of their profession, but also that you can use it to explain about a profession itself. Like an example, being a flight attendant, it's very interesting, or it's very exciting, for example. That is one thing. You see, being I'm using the gerund in the first place, and I use it as a subject because I'm talking about that particular career in general. Or, for example, Irina said that making some flowers decoration, right, is the most amazing job. She said. That's what she said. What about you? Any example that you can give us, like a, as a teacher? Okay. Uh, being a mad counts coach oh, oh. is really excited. Oh, that's interesting and really tired as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All righty, very good. So you see, guys, how we can use um a grammar to talk about uh, professions in general, yeah, or what is exactly what we do, 
or or talking about another profession, not exactly our professions, but also to talk about professions in general or activity that the people does. You see, we have learned about that, but we have learned gerunds with phrases as a subject. Tomorrow we will continue with this topic where we're gonna learn so, uh, gerunds, phrases as an object, which is kind of different, okay? But also we're still using the ing form. I already sent it to you the information, you see? A little square just for you to practice and studying okay but i will get into deeply to that tomorrow and then of course we're going to do some writing exercises and you see and more speaking activities which is really what we need to do right we need to like yes of course guys any doubts any questions any comments so for the good no. i think we're clear like water or like orchata <laughs> Like tamarindo. Tamarindo juice. Oh, come on, Alex. <laughs> All right. I'm so oh, happy, yeah, guys, too. to see you once again. And this is the second week, right? Or the third week? No, the second week. The second, second week. week. I was like, oh my God. Two weeks more. And we're like, Whoosh. okay. This week, we're going to work harder. Okay. Okay, guys. So, hugs and kisses. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.